everyone. I hope that you are well. So nice to be with you again today. Welcome to the Worksheet Cloud Grade 2 English lesson with me, Mrs. Greenwood. And if you have any questions, then please feel free to send an email after the lesson to grade2 at worksheetcloud.com. But for now, let's get started. Today, we're going to revise nouns. Now, I know that you guys remember what nouns are, don't you? Yes, a noun is the name of a person, a place, an animal, or a thing. Very good. A noun is the name of a person, place, animal, or thing. A person, like Megan, or a girl. A place, like Cape Town, or playground. An animal, like a cat or a horse, and a thing, like a pencil or an apple. And remember, a person, a place, an animal or a thing is a noun. Enjoy the song! Today I learned a noun can be a person, place or thing. Today I learned a noun can be a person, place or thing. Today I learned a noun can be a person, place or thing. A person, place or thing. Grandma, sister, Uncle Harry. School, the mall, my town's library. Lunchbox, elephant, blueberry. A person, place or thing. Well done, everybody. Today, we're going to play a game. And do you know what? Sometimes you can learn while you're playing games. And today, we are going to be doing riddles. Now, riddles are quite fun. And the riddle you're going to have to guess is a noun. So, let's begin. The three nouns in front of you are bathroom, bedroom and living room. Let's see our clues, our riddles. What am I? I am part of the house. I am a room. You can find a pillow and a bed in me. Oh, remember bathroom, bedroom, living room. And the last one, I am used to sleep in. So what do you say that noun is? Bedroom. Very good. Great. Oh, look at that beautiful tortoise. Shining and sparkling just for you. Next nouns. A doctor, a chef, or a vet. Now you know what a doctor is. And a chef is someone who makes food. And a vet looks after animals. Let's see our clues. Who am I? I am a human. Oh, so this is a person. I work in a hospital. I treat six sick people. I give injections and medicine. Oh, what do you think that is? A doctor, a chef or a vet? Yes, I also think it's a doctor. Yeah, well done. Excellent. Next. These three nouns, clownfish, jellyfish or shark. Let's look at the clues. What am I? I am a wild animal. Ooh. I live under the sea. All right, so clownfish, jellyfish, shark, all three live under the sea. Let's see if we can get another clue. I have a big body. Now, clownfish is quite small. Jellyfish is not that big. Oh, shark's pretty big. I have sharp teeth. Oh, yes, we sure know what this is. This is a shark. Very good. Great, says little Ellie Elephant. Our next three nouns train bus and truck 
let's see if you can guess what this noun's going to be. What am I? I am a means of transportation. That means you can go on it from one place to another. So, you can use a train to go places, a bus you can go places, and a truck. I have a long body. Hmm. I have many iron wheels. I run on a railway. That's a big clue. And what is it? Train. Very good. The noun here that you found was train. Excellent. Great. <laughs> Three nouns on our chips, candy, and chocolate. Ooh. What am I? I am something you eat. I have blocks. Oh, that's quite a good clue. I am sweet. My color is brown. Quite correct. What is the noun? Is it chips, candy, or chocolate? It is chocolate. Very good. Yay! Well done. Our next three nouns. Whiteboard, table or bookcase. What am I? I am in a classroom. Aha! Uh -huh. I am in front of the students in the class. My colour is white. Ah, there's a clue. You can write and draw anything on me. That's pretty a pretty good clue. A whiteboard, a table, a bookcase. Do you think it's a table? No, a whiteboard. Well done. Great. <laughs> How cute is that? Next, a coat. A swimsuit or pajamas. What am I? I am clothing. Well, all three of those are clothing. I am soft and comfortable. You wear me when you are going to sleep. Oh, that's a big clue. So, what is our noun here? Coat, swimsuit, or pajamas? Pajamas! Very good. You guys are good at this game. Very good. Our next three. Teeth, tongue, nails. Those are all three nouns. What am I? I am part of your body. Well, all three of those nouns are part of our body. You have to brush me every day. I am in your mouth. You use me for biting food. Oh, that gave a big clue. Teeth, tongue or nails? What do you think? Teeth, I do too. Very good. <laughs> Our next three. Water, juice, milk. These three nouns, water, juice and milk. Let's see, what am I? I am a type of drink. Hmm, all three of those are type of drink. I am white. Oh, I have many vitamins and minerals in me. I am produced from a cow. That's a big clue. So you know what that is. Is it water? No. Is it juice? No. Is it milk? Yes, it's milk. <laughs> Very good. Our next three, brother, mother, sister. Let's see which noun goes here. Who am I? I am a family member. I am a woman. Oh, so there's only two choices now, mother or sister. I have a husband. I have a son and a daughter. So that would be a mother. Very good. Yes. Beautiful tortoise thinks you are so clever. Ah, oh, cell phone, computer, calculator. 
Let's try and guess which noun we are. What am I? I am a means of communication. That means you can talk to someone, communicate with them through this. Can you communicate with a calculator? Mm, I'm not so sure about that. My body is small. I am used for calling someone. You can send messages too. So I think, and it's quite small, computer you can use as well for sending messages. But I tend to agree with you that it is a cell phone. Very good. Oh, well done. She says, great. Our next three nouns are birds. Eagle, cockatoo and owl. Let's see if you can guess which noun we, we are going to find in the riddle. What am I? I am a bird. Well, all three are birds. I have two big eyes. I sleep in the day. I look for food at night. Yes, an owl. An owl has got two big eyes. Sleeps in the day and looks for food at night. Very good. <laughs> We have the next three nouns, table, chair, bookcase. Let's see our riddle. What am I? I am furniture. Well, a table's furniture, chair's furniture, and a bookcase can be furniture. I am made from wood. Hmm, all three could be made from wood, so this is a little bit more difficult. I have four legs. <laughs> A table could have four legs and a chair could have four legs. A bookcase doesn't normally have legs. Last one, you can sit on me. Oh, that gave us the biggest clue. So this would be a chair. Our noun is a chair. Very good. Great. Ha ha, some food. Spaghetti. Mmm, delicious. Pizza, yummy, burger, woo, scrumptious. Let's see what our clue is. I'm sure you're going to get this. What am I? I am food, right? All three are food, spaghetti, pizza, burger. I am made from dough, tomato sauce, and cheese. Mmm, I love cheese. My shape is Thin and circular. So it's round. Circular means round. Oh, that's a big clue, isn't it? And it is a pizza. <laughs> Very good. There's our beautiful tortoise saying great stuff. Well done. Oh, yes, some dragon type of creatures. Komodo dragon. It's a Komodo. Crocodile, dinosaur. Ooh, I wonder if you're going to get this one. What am I? I am a huge animal. Well, a Komodo dragon's pretty big. A crocodile's pretty big. Got some huge dinosaurs. I lived a very long time ago. Oh, that should give you a big clue. My friends are T-Rex and Brontosaurus. But we are extinct now. Extinct means that they don't live with us anymore. They're not on our planet anymore. And what is it that is extinct? A dinosaur. Very good. There's a little dragon. Very excited for you. Ruler, rubber, sharpener. Let's see which of these nouns it's going to be. What am I? I am school equipment. Mm, all three of those are school equipment. I have a thin and long body. Ah, that's making me think. You can use me to make lines. I am used for measuring something. Oh, that one was quite easy. Definitely. Is it a sharpener? No. Rubber? No. Ruler? Yes, it's a ruler.
<laughs> Anna's very excited for you. Three more animals. A fox, a bear, a penguin. Remember with nouns I, I said you can put a or the in front of it. A fox or the fox. A bear or the bear. A penguin or the penguin. Let's see which one it's going to be. What am I? I'm a small animal. My body is black and white. Mm, fox is not really black and white. A bear could be because a panda bear is black and white. Penguin is black and white. I live in the polar regions. Well, uh, the only bear I know that's in the polar regions is a polar bear. A penguin lives in the polar regions. I eat fish and I can't fly. Oh, that was a big clue. So it's definitely a penguin. Great job. I am very proud of you. Roof, raincoat, umbrella. Let's see which one is which noun it is. What am I? I'm useful. I'm a useful and colorful thing. I have a handle. I protect you from the rain. Well, a roof protects you from the rain, but it doesn't have a handle. A raincoat protects you from the rain, but it doesn't have a handle. And an umbrella protects you from the rain, and it does have a, does have a handle. So, umbrella. <laughs> Very good. Three nouns are fridge, stove, microwave. Let's see, what am I? I am a useful thing. Mm, all three are useful. Usually I'm in the kitchen. I can make your food and drinks cold. I can make ice. <laughs> I don't think a microwave can make ice, nor a stove. But a fridge, oh yes, if you put water in the freezer, you're going to get ice. So let's see if fridge is right. Yes, great job. Congratulations. You did it very well. Good job. I am so proud of you today, children. And that was lots of fun with all those riddles. Now I want you to see. If you can ask mom and dad and your brother and your sister some riddles at home. Um, remember, don't say the name of the noun. If you're talking about your dog, think about things that you can say about it. Like, what am I? I have four legs. I have two eyes. I am brown. And I bark at strangers. And see if mom and dad or your brothers and sisters can guess the noun. So that's your challenge for today, everybody. Thank you for watching Grade Twos. It was wonderful being here with you today. The lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud and myself, Mrs. Greenwood. Have a wonderful day and a beautiful week. Bye-bye.